What's going on guys? Evolution here and welcome back to day zero. How is everyone then? As you can see I'm in a bit of a state right now. So you may have noticed at the end of the previous video we did disconnect on a rather lot of blood in a barn or at least I attempted to. It turned out it wouldn't let me disconnect due to zombies and I actually got knocked out by a zombie. And when I finally could disconnect, well, I ended up on this low blood, which really sucks. Like, right, sucks loads. I've got no ammo. But it's alright, I've got some useful information. Why in Cranstow Stav? Yeah. That's impressive, isn't it? So, let's actually have a quick look with Cranstow Stav. What? We're here. How? How is this possible? I thought it was more like Dubrovka. Right, well we're actually in the middle of nowhere. I don't think... There's nothing interesting in Kranstow Stav. Hmm. I think we should probably run down to Gorka. But I'm going to need a compass to do that. Right, I think I can get rid of this shaken by using painkillers. But it turns out we don't have any painkillers, so there's that idea gone out the window. Um, but anyway guys, welcome back, uh, I hope you're all good, and I've actually got a topic for today's video, purely because I always talk about random crap, and I can see this one being a bit of a long one. There's not going to be much talking about, and I'm sure this is going to kill your eyes watching. So I thought I'd try and give you a bit of entertainment, and uh, have some topics to talk about. So, we've got, uh, we got we're going to have a bit of talk about rust, we're going to have a bit of talk about... Daisy standalone, and also just just uh, my channel, as in evolution myself, uh, about kind of what content I upload and what you guys want to see. So should be interesting. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna make it past all these zombies without getting noticed. We're gonna have to do the whole roly poly thing. <laughs> Here we go. But anyway, guys, let's start off with dun -dun -dun. let's start off with content. So, as you've seen, or may have not seen, I've been uploading loads of different content recently, so I'll just name some. I've uh, been uploading Worms Revolution, quite a cool game for messing around on. been doing Saints Row for a little while now, and I've just started doing some GTA 4 stuff. Obviously, GTA 5 is coming out soon, so... Well, uh, yeah, GTA 5 is coming out soon, so... It's kind of cool to get back into the GTA kind of mode, get to grips with it again, for when that comes out. Uh, I've done a little, little bit of battlefield. Sorry, I'm getting really paranoid due to zombies. Oh, this is horrible. Daisy, uh, day zero. Uh, my bandit series. I haven't done any more on that since that's finished though. Also, I've done uh, the the going solo series, and obviously the day zero series. I think that's all I've done on Daisy actually. I've done the odd just bonus episodes like One Day in Chernarus and Squad Battles and stuff. Uh, oh, we've also done a bit of Wasteland. Uh, the Mission series is up at the moment. And that is really fun. We captured some really awesome stuff in that. And I tried to edit it quite well together. Make it quite comical. Or at least I attempted to anyway. Oh, Jesus. This is some pro ninja stuff here, guys. But anyway, on to the subject. So, as I said, I've uploaded loads of content. And I want you guys to kind of say what what content you want me to upload. Uh, maybe what is your favourite out of all the content I upload. And even suggest something different for me to play, like Minecraft or the new Cube World game, etc. So, uh, that would be really useful. So, I can kind of get an idea what you guys want to see and what you're enjoying at the moment because connecting with you guys is one of the most important things in my channel otherwise what's the point of uploading videos if you don't even want to watch them you know so and I want to try and get some kind of connectivity with you guys out there and understand what you actually want so I think that is very important alright what should we talk about next eh well okay we're gonna bring it out the daisy standalone alpha subject so you know that I do my obviously I do my the standalone alpha updates. Obviously, 
they're not a million percent accurate because I'm not Dean. However, I'm just going by the word that everyone else is saying and trying to back up with some sources and links. Uh, most of it's been good feedback and I really appreciate that. Other people haven't enjoyed it, but can't impress everyone. But yeah, that should definitely be out really soon. I'm, I would say the end of this month, uh, which is currently what we now, July? Yeah, July. I would say it's probably going to be out like end of July or a certain week in August. I don't see what would be any later than August or possibly any later than this month really. But that's just the time schedule I'd probably give it. I would have wished it was out sooner. Multiple times I've said it may be out sooner but it turns out that it hasn't. But obviously Dean's got a lot of stuff to do. And it's going to be worth the wait in the end isn't it? So there's no point complaining. It's going to be a freaking epic game. So what's the, what's the point in moaning? Um, let's talk a bit about Stanlo then. So they've redone all the inventory. Uh, it's a lot better now because you've got like your proximity, your player model, drag and drop stuff in, and the layout's a lot nicer and clearer. And it's just easier to kind of use the new interface. So that's going to be a big improvement. All new weapons and items. Uh, Nothing's been transferred over from the Daisy mod or Armor 2, if that's what you want to call it. What else have we got going? Uh, the new medical health system looks awesome. Loads of the new features like the walkie talkies. And what else have we got? New animations, bits and bobs like that. So, obviously, it looks amazing. They've added more buildings, the map's been expanded on. Loads of little kind of improvements which is going to make the standalone amazing and there's so much potential for the standalone I mean when it comes out it's probably going to be really good but it's still going to be possibly some bugs and things that could possibly be better but there's just going to be so much room uh, not for improvement but just potential features uh, obviously the new crafting system was a cool feature they added I'd just like to point out how surprised I am how I've managed to manoeuvre around here without actually dying so far. So I just thought I'd point that out. Moment moment of praise before I die. Uh, what else should, was we talking about? Yeah, so, the standalone. I can't wait for that, it's going to be awesome. And, yeah, I'll be doing lots of content on that. I'm going to actually have to restrict myself on playing it because I need to edit the footage and upload it for you guys. Uh, which will suck a bit for me because I'll want to be playing it so much but I will promise to be obviously giving up some of my time to instead of playing it to edit the videos out and upload it so you guys can see you possibly haven't got it or just want to see my cool experiences right so we did just find a handgun but surprise surprise it's actually got no ammo what okay it takes 0 .32 APC uh, okay We found some food also. We found them sardines. Kranzo stab doesn't seem to have much. I did say it was going to be a small village. Um, but we found the box of matches which is really kind of important. And I've got the hatchet so essentially we just need the hunting knife now. And then we might actually be on kind of potential living because <laughs> I can scavenge off animals uh, I could do with some painkillers possibly because I think some I said this before but someone did mention that if you take uh, oh sorry about that guys I don't know what would have came up for you there but I accidentally tabbed out that was an accident See, I've got uh, I've got gaming mode on my keyboard, and I still don't activate it. What am I like? But right, so what was the third topic, guys? I've completely forgotten. See what I mean? I I just can't keep on topic. Oh, it's outrageous. I will get back into roll. I just got to try and remember. So anyway, what did I say about? I said about content. I said about standalone. And what was the other thing? Was it Rust? I'm not sure. It might have been Rust. Oh, I feel really, I feel really stupid now. What was it? 
It will come back to me later, don't worry guys. I feel like I've got a really bad memory. That's not the case though. It's just when I'm recording, I just... You know you've helped re uh, like book authors get like writer's block and songwriters like when they're doing songs they get like whatever you want to call it block. I suppose that's like composing block or whatever you want to call it. But basically just where you your mind completely dies. That that's what YouTubing is like for me. I go to record a video and then when I'm playing my mind just dies on me and I have nothing interesting to speak about. So I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll set some subjects for the next video. Set some topics, we can discuss them. And apparently, that is not good enough. So by the looks of it, I have to write like a worded script out. <laughs> no, I ain't joking. Uh, but the, yeah, that's the state I'm getting myself into. But this is pretty intense anyway, so I'll go back into daisy mode. So who remembers a good old mud then? The legend himself. Who, sa who saved us and yet I still managed to get completely owned by the zombies they are demolishing me lately not gonna lie they are so pow like overwhelming me seriously like two of them come over to you and it's my luck that I'll either lose a leg and break it or they'll knock me out and just munch on me I'm not sure if like obviously they've been made a bit more uh, kind of not. I don't want to use the word powerfuler but so I don't think that's even a word, but they are a bit more of a challenge now, I'm not going to lie. But then again, if I actually had a weapon with ammunition, we wouldn't be in this blooming state, would we now? So I suppose my scavenging skills aren't so good. But right now, to be honest, I actually just want to find a hunting knife, because I feel that we could get out of here. We may not have a clue where to go, we may get completely lost, but there's always animals in like the woods. I think we may have gone in this building. Oh god, I feel like I'm just gonna like fly up in the air on this building. It's just gonna ping me in the air. Cause that's what happens in Daisy. That's a question. How do you pronounce it? Is it Day Daisy? Day Z? I suppose because I'm British it should be Day Z, right? Day Z. I don't know, Daisy comes more natural though. Day Z, Daisy. I don't know. I'm pretty sure Dean always pronounces it Daisy. And Warzy was always pronounced Warzy. Oh, no, no, I think some people pronounce it Warzy. I don't know, Zedzy. It's the same thing, right? Who cares? In fact, not that I should mention the game, but Warzy have now changed their name, haven't they, to uh, Infestation Survival Stories. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I did buy it. <laughs> I did think it looked pretty cool. I did get fooled into it. Uh, it's it's an, it's an alright game, I suppose. But not a competitor to, th to this bad boy anyway. And not to stand alone. No way. I'm so glad there's more interval buildings in this uh, Zero mod. Or as I like to call it, Daisy Zero. <laughs> Can't believe I used to call it that. That was really awkward. In like the first couple of videos I've recorded, I actually had to re-commentate the beginning. Because I felt like such an idiot that for the f I didn't realise it's pronounced Day Zero. Obviously, if you read it, it's got one Z, so you'd initially think it's day zero, because that's what normal people do. For some reason, I just assumed it was, I don't know, I just thought it was day Z zero, which doesn't sound right at all, but there we go. It's me, isn't it? So I ran so far out trying to get the northeast airfield, and I'm terribly lost. See, I'm loving this server for the pure fact I don't have a clue where I am. You can't just click the map button if you found a map and uh, it shows you your location with a little circle and an arrow or if it's a little bit more advanced than that then you have to set a marker to figure out your location this one you just have complete no clue I've never played on a, a more challenging server than this but it should be good for me I just force myself to learn although this is horrible this black and white screen so if we just quickly jump in the lovely grass here Oh, okay, apparently not. I was hoping to let me go in inventory on the floor. Yeah, so we do just need the hunting knife, isn't it? And then from then onwards, we can slaughter the animals with our lovely hatchet. And then we can cook us up a fire and nom on that good stuff. Hopefully regain a bit of sight. 
and then I might be able to navigate because <laughs> right now I'm truly lost if I find a compass I can kind of navigate with my login location with my compass I suppose, it still be quite hard so that's made me really wonder because if you remember in the last episode I did actually mention uh, that looks like the ATC tower but I must be losing the plot we're not I didn't think we got to North East Airfield but there's it, it might have actually been the North East Airfield you know because this is literally the small city below it like a thousand meters away I mean for all I know it could be up that hill or that direction I haven't got a sense of direction at the moment unfortunately maybe we should just follow the road in fact there's something up there but I can't really can't really see too much Oh no. Did I get aggro? Oh yes I did. I didn't think there was any zombies around. Oh god, this is gonna go horribly wrong now, isn't it? Damn it, all this time without getting aggro and I ruined it, didn't I? Looks like we're bailing out into the trees. It's not like I can even do much. By the time I switch to the hatchet, I would have got killed, to be honest. It probably would have hit me a few times. And got a lucky knockout. Well, that's alright. We could do with finding a new location anyway. At least we've got a box of matches. I'll be grateful, because usually you have to, uh... Like, you don't really find them unless you're in a supermarket. Uh, but they are just residential spawned in, so it's not too bad. I just love the fact that I've got two weapons and I purely can't do anything with them <laughs> because I've uh, <laughs> I've got no ammunition for them. Luckily, I can kind of ch uh, check barns and stuff for the Winchester ammo, and that's a really cool thing about the Winchester. What was it called then? Oh, I haven't got it out. I think it's the 1866. Oh, I've got, I've got hiccups. Can't really log out. Oh, I'm now I'm yawning. This is just commentator's curse. It truly is. And the zombies are catching up with me. This is all going bad now. How can you run up a hill so fast? You're running faster than me. If it wasn't for you keep stopping every couple of seconds to try and hit me, you'd probably be demolishing me. Alright, I'm debating about getting the hatchet out, but I don't think that'll end so well. It also means dropping the win uh, Winchester, and no my luck, it'll just disintegrate into the floor. Just merge itself and disappear. <laughs> Sounds like there's more than one blooming zombie there, please, Jesus. I might have lost them anyway. See, next thing I know, a bit of Belot or something. Because <laughs> that's how bad my sense direction is. Like I said, I didn't think I was at him in the northeast or near it. Turns out I logged in just below it, just south. The zombies are so challenging. God damn it! They pick your footsteps up from like the whole the whole town away. <laughs> You're in like Cherno and they start running from Electro. Like, yeah, you gotta like the video for my my attempt of zombie noises. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's a tree stump. I thought it was a chicken. I can't even see if I had a hunting knife. At least I could have pre-killed animals and then like put their stuff in my bag. But nope, can't even do that. I've got some logs, so... I don't know whether to follow a road or not. I guess I should really follow a road. Wait, what? My blood pretty sure my blood just dropped okay I need to watch that serum so 3472 I remember that later. I swear I like flickered up I looked up to the corner I just saw it drop I don't recall getting hit just then didn't look like it this is just the one zombie I've got me now who knows maybe I'll meet another friendly player that can uh, fix me up once again that's unlikely though bloody out here Any hunting knives around? 
All right, we'll just run down here for a lot. Oh, there's more zombies there. That's not good. Surprised that one didn't pick me up from like the previous dirt road. As I was saying, how sensitive they are. At least I've got a headshot. It's all right. I can die now. I've got a single headshot. What even was that with? I haven't had. I've only had a hatchet. Wait. No. Uh, oh, this is jogging my memory now. Um. I think I had the crossbow. No. Was this his life? See, I don't, I don't remember. That's okay. I officially do have a bad memory. Just jot everything down on like a notepad so I don't forget. If I got. Okay, I shouldn't shop. The, uh, can't even speak properly now. Ah, oh, there's a barn over there. Right, come on. Winchester ammo. No, my luck, there'd be like a CZ 550 in there. Like, that wouldn't be any use to me, but it'd be pretty cool if it was. Trying to think if I'm gonna lose a zombie before I'm in there. In fact, there might even be zombies in there. All right, let's do this. See, now it does sound like two zombies behind me now. What the chances that there's a Winchester there? The first of all. Right, they better not knock me out. Please don't knock me out. <laughs> They're gonna come through or? I'm not complaining if they've just left me. Is that a Winchester? Yes. And it's got some slugs with it. Okay, that was easy. They just left me. Alright, add that to my tool belt. Just for the pure fact that we've been running with that other Winchester all this time. I feel that it's only right that we pick that one back up. But I'll take the ammo from that one. So that's just me being difficult, really. You know what, let's just... Uh, let's deal with these zombies quick. Just so I don't have to deal with them when I leave. Where are they? They've like run off. That heartbeat is like really creeping me out. It's like dum dum, dum dum. It's quite scary. Zombies like just ran off. Obviously, uh, tea time is past his. Uh, what do they call it? Curfew. Yeah, is that the word? That's like American either, isn't it? Whatever. I'm talking crap now once again. Right, where was we? Well, we have a weapon. The thing is, is this bad boy going to be worth shooting in an area? Because I'll probably just get more aggro than it's worth. But anyway, at least we've got some protection. There's a minimal chance that I'll be able to get out of a very bad situation. Right, so can I navigate where the hell I am from this barn? No. So let's just go a random direction. Let's go this way. I still got my little patrol pack. Pa patrol pack. I remember. <laughs> I used to call them patrol packs. Ah, <laughs> oh, the days of Daisy. All right. Oh, it's annoying. I was just about to say, at least we see an animal, I can just start uh, collecting the meat, but no. Can I just like, use the hatchet and cut them open, and then just grab some meat and like chuck it in my bag, you know? No? Okay, damn it. But anyway, guys, how are you lot? Yeah, positive note, we've, we've got some ammo, that's a sign. So, I can go to positive mode. Anyway, I hope you guys are awesome, because I'm doing awesome, and I'm... Yeah, I'm knackered, but I'm good. Doing lots of recording recently. What have I been recording? I'll, I'll give you... I'll leak a bit of information. Tell a lie, I actually haven't been recording that much. I've just been editing a lot and then letting it render. And, uh... Well, rendering takes a little while. Um, 
purely because some of my videos are like half an hour to 40 minutes long especially the the wasteland mission series going on they take freaking ages and because I do it in original quality which is like the best it takes about two hours which is a bit of a pain um, I'm not actually sure what kind of affects the process of a render whether it's your uh, graphics if that kind of speeds the process up or if you have to have a very powerful processor that will increase the speed of a render or if it's how much uh, kind of resources your computer's got access to like your RAM I'm not actually, or maybe it's just kind of a sum of up, sum up of your computer, like all of them really I'm not too sure but I've got a quite uh, powerful, that's the debug zone isn't it looks like a debug I've got quite a powerful graphics card, I've got the uh, Asus GeForce 660 Ti and that's got 2 gig of DDR5 built into it uh, it's a pretty hefty graphics card, although it's just dropped in price I believe because the new 700 series came out I did pay just under 230 uh, 230 pounds for it I think you can pick it up for about 200 now or 190 which is quite annoying but there we go uh, but yeah it's a really nice graphics card and well I've yet to find a game that can defeat it to be honest I haven't played a game that it can't run on like high or ultra so and this is going to send me crazy these fields I don't know Right, so I'm pretty sure like the villages are all back this way. So we'll start heading in this direction, shall we? Yasin question mark. This is creepy just running around the forest. Oh, Yasin put Yes <laughs> Question mark. Actually space question mark. Osh. Your bike and body is where you left it. I want a bike. Ah, oh, it's a dirt road. Is that a dirt road? <whistles> Thank God for that. Oh, the question is, do we take the road to the left or the road to the right? Uh, I'm left hand. Let's go this way. Osh. Do this. This is going to be a good old trek. But hey, at least I'm not stuck at the coast. Ugh, that place makes you cringe. I've just got a death wish when I'm down there, to be honest. I always get killed. Although, for, was it the first episode of the Daisy Zero series? I think it might have been. Uh, and I did a right, to be honest. When I was picking this bad boy up, the Winchester. 1866, I was right. Just had to double check there, but that's besides the point. But I said it's the 1866 earlier, so I'm kind of proud of that. Uh, that guy tried to shoot me the Winchester, so I picked the Winchester up off that body. And I actually completely owned him for a change. But it was a completely different story up at Baron's Universe, just the guy off the Lee Enfield bit. He was an amazing shot. I mean, I did kind of stand still for a point second to shoot him, but then I realised he was trying to shoot me, so I started running. So that might have been the case. I mean, it wouldn't have been that hard to shoot if I was standing completely still. And the Liam food's got a quite nice range. This, I I'm going to say the sights are nice because I do like the sights. But other people are probably be like, "What's wrong with you?" But I think the sights are quite nice on the Liam field. It's just a blimmin' loud gun, but you can tell it when you hear it for sure. Right, guys. So I think this has been enough for one episode. So in the next episode, meet me to follow the road of destiny we will travel it and see where it takes us thanks for watching guys don't forget to drop a comment i asked a few questions earlier in the video and as usual just drop a comment if you feel like it if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it uh, again it lets me know if you guys enjoy it and if you give me if there's quite a lot of likes on one video then i'll carry on continuing the series as such but don't forget to drop a comment as well obviously and if you haven't already shame on you but subscribe <laughs> If you haven't already, shame on you. But hopefully you've already subscribed if you're watching this video. If not, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I said I like to release a lot of content, and yeah, join join my uh, subscriber pack. Should come up with a name like the Evolution Army or something, but uh, I'm too lazy for that. What is that? <gasps> dun, 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 dun. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.